And now we're going to move on to bladder extrophy. This is relatively uncommonly tested, um, but this is the one place where orthopedics and urology meet and work together. Uh, classic bladder extrophy occurs in 1 in 40,000 infants, and cloacal extrophy is even rarer. Um, essentially, you get altered migration of scleroderms, sclerotomes, which causes the bladder to be outside of the body, and this is actually a cloacal extrophy. Um, and this can be associated with a wide variety of uh, other conditions. Um, so on physical exam, you're going to see a patient with an exposed bladder. And the musculoskeletal, the important musculoskeletal parts of this are that the acetabuli tend to be externally rotated or retroverted. And patients who are of walking age, they tend to have an external foot progression angle and a waddling gait because of their wide pubic diastasis and their retroverted acetabuli. On x-rays, and this is a grown-up with bladder extrophy, you're going to see a wide pubic diastasis and acetabular retroversion. The goal of treatment for these patients is to close the abdominal wall and to obtain uh, urinary continence when possible. Um, so this can be achieved through either stage multidisciplinary reconstruction or a multidisciplinary reconstruction uh, without staging. Um, the components include primary closure of the bladder, uh, epispadius repair, uh, bladder neck reconstruction, and then where we come in is in the pelvic osteotomies. The goal of our pelvic osteotomies is to decrease tension on the repairs done by urology. Um, so our pelvic osteotomies are done to decrease the dehiscence, um, and closure of the pelvic ring is generally done at the time of reconstruction of the bladder. The way these are fixed tends to uh, be based on patient age. In newborn patients, we do the pelvic osteotomy, we close the skin, and we stabilize them with a spica cast. Uh, in older patients or revision cases, we usually want to fix the pelvic osteotomies either with uh, Steinman pins or with a uh, pelvic external fixator. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.